Woo. How to play golf in extreme heat. Let's do it. Oh. And let's do it quickly. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. And second of all, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. If you want to ring the notification bell, then you'll find out whenever I do upload new content, which generally is every day. Do me a favor and hit that like button if you do enjoy the video. In today's video, we are talking about playing golf in extreme heat. Now the first thing that needs to be said is if you are planning on playing golf in extreme heat, I've played today early afternoon in the Spanish sun. We're here at Desert Springs Golf Resort in Almeria and it's boiling. But I left the house today about half an hour ago and that was the temperature, about 40 degrees. Luckily there is a little bit of a breeze but it is still extremely hot. So guys, make sure you hit those comments below. What would you do differently if you're playing golf in extreme heat? Now I have done a video on how to play golf in the rain. So if you want to see that, make sure you go find that on my channel as well. But today we're talking heat. Now obviously some points of this video are going to be common sense, some of them you're all going to know, some of them, some of them hopefully you've not heard before and they are going to help you next time you choose to play golf in extreme heat. And you see for me that pretty much is point number one, if you're choosing to play golf in extreme heat, you're not playing under a tea time, you're not playing in a tournament, you're not playing in an event. You see I've come out today in the height of the sun to do this video for you, but it's definitely not something that I would normally choose to do. I've been here all week creating content for you guys, but I have been getting up really early, going out doing some filming, then going and sitting by the pool maybe just relaxing in the sun. And then if it does cool down about five, six o'clock, get out there again and go and play some more. And you see, the first port of call for me whenever I play golf is the range, the net, try and warm up, try and loosen up. Now, if it's 40 degrees, if it's red hot, don't go and do what you normally do. Don't go and hit a full basket of balls. In fact, you know your limits. If you're going to get hot, if you're going to get bothered, if you're going to ruin your round, make sure you stick to your limits and make sure you do the bare minimum. Yep. That's enough for that. Okay, maybe that was an over-exaggeration, but you get the drift. Another point you're going to want to consider when playing in extreme heat is wearing light colours. Today, I've worn a nice light white number, a nice white cap and some khaki shorts. And don't forget the sun cream. Now obviously the first thing I did this morning before I left the house was apply sun cream, but... Even if you don't feel like you're burning, it's mega important, keep applying it, keep putting it on and then you're never going to have an issue. You might want a towel as well afterwards. It's absolutely vital that you do stay out of the sun at all times when you can. Obviously it's nice to be out, it's nice to be in the sun. That's why you come to these hot places. But at 40 degrees, if you're waiting on a tea, make sure you find some shade. Oh. Are they gone yet? Oh, no, no, no. Back no. now. No. Appropriate headwear is absolutely vital when playing in such heat like this. A nice white cap should do it to keep the sun off your face or if you do want to keep your entire head nice and cool, something like this should do it. 
Now you might think that the amount of water you drink when you're playing on the course is the most important thing. And yeah, that is important, but it's also important to think about what you're drinking before you play. You see, realistically speaking, you have to get your body hydrated in order to keep it hydrated. So the night before, the day before, drink as much fluids as you can, as much water as you can. Try and stay away from Coke and fizzy drinks as well. That never ends well. You see, on days like today, it's important not only to have plenty of water and drink often and little, in little sips, but also have plenty of sports drinks, things like still Lucozade that can up your sugar levels, keep your energy nice and high, and actually taste okay when they get a little bit warm. Mm. Mm. Little and often, remember? Another thing which a lot of people fail to do when playing golf in extreme heat is pack the bag for the conditions. Don't have all your waterproofs in there. Don't have a million golf balls in there. Well, I guess it depends who you are and where you're playing, doesn't it? But don't pack your bag too heavy, pack light. Find out if there are loads of water fountains around the golf course so you can keep filling your bottle up. Don't take three, four big bottles of water and be lugged down like this trying to carry your bag in the extreme heat. Absolutely nailed that tee shot, by the way. Electrolytes, that's the word I was looking for. Another point which people forget when playing golf in heat is pace yourself. Don't try and get round in three and a half hours. If it's 40 degrees heat, just calm down, relax, enjoy the walk. Little and often. Also, think about what you eat. Don't pack your bag full of Mars bars, Snickers, Kit Kats, things that are going to look like the end of the Terminator 2 film by the time you're three holes in. Take nuts, fruit bars, breakfast things, things that aren't going to melt. Whew, I am melting. It's official. Just mentioned Terminator 2 in a video. Also, make sure you've got plenty of gloves with you. I brought one glove out today. I'm three holes in. I could pretty much wring it out. Guys, I've been James Robinson. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that video. If you do go and play golf in the heat, as you can tell, I've tried to make that video as fun and as jovial as I can, but please make sure you do take care of yourself. Look after your health, look after yourself. Don't go out there in red hot conditions without the right preparations, without plenty of water, without your silly master's hat and all the rest. If you are new here, make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button. And as always, oh, what was that? As always, leave a like if you've enjoyed the content. And the final piece of advice I can give you if you go and play golf in red hot conditions is after the round, make sure you go and cool down. <laughs> I can't believe I did that either. As always, leave a like if you've enjoyed the content, and I'll see you tomorrow. That was for Birdie as well. <laughs>